How's it going, everyone? Welcome back. Long-awaited um, progress update on the Jimmy, and we're going to actually work on it today. Um, hasn't been a lot posted, but I have been doing stuff on it behind the scenes. Um, today, we're going to undo some stuff. So we've made some changes. We're going to be pulling these 706 heads off, put a set of ported 862s from Precision Race Components, a.k.a. Texas Speed. Uh, I've got some MSD plug wires, got a fast LSXRT intake manifold and holly billet fuel rails. We're going to get those on there. There's a 102 millimeter throttle body as well, but um, still waiting on the headers. And that's going to kind of be what we're doing today is getting this old stuff off and getting the new stuff on. And then once the intake's on, I need to figure up the length of all the lines and crossovers uh regulator all the plumbing essentially for the fuel system is what's next and um from there we're gonna probably start the hauling install and start plugging everything in but hang in there i'm gonna shut up and we're gonna get to work Alright, so that didn't take long at all, obviously. Got rid of the coil packs on both sides. <clears throat> Pulled the intake, fuel rails, throttle body, one piece. Uh, next, I'm going to pull these crossovers and block off plugs off uh, the heads. I need this bolt for the dipstick tube. Mm, I don't think there's a sensor in there. I might need this plug out of here once I get the heads off to transfer to the other ones if it doesn't have it. But uh, basically, yeah, at this point, I've got to start pulling the cylinder heads off and uh, get that handled so we can clean this mess up and start reassembly. So, again, I'm going to shut up and get back to work. So that's all taken apart. Everything come apart relatively easy. If you go back and look at the playlist for this, I'll insert it. Um, you can see I put this engine together a while ago. So, well, put it together. It was done by GM. Let me rephrase that. When I did the cam and valve springs and uh, seals, things like that was a while ago. So I didn't uh, run the valves on this at all. I just kind of bumped them in quick but minimal so they weren't pushing on the springs and uh, I left it that way until we were ready to run it because I didn't want to be pushing on the plunger of the lifters or stressing some of the springs and not some of the other ones. Probably wouldn't have been that big of a deal but I just took it as a precautionary method when I put everything back together. So I'm going to go ahead um, start on torquing all the bolts get these heads pulled off and we'll pick up from there and probably about that point I'm going to start uh, showing you some of the parts that are going to go back on this at that point. So stick around for that. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and start busting all these bolts loose so I can zip them out and get the heads actually off and start the cleaning process so we can reassemble. Alright, so as you can see I got one head <coughs> pulled off relatively clean a little bit of carbon buildup typical you know engine that isn't flogged beat on or had a bunch of nitrous sprayed through it it's, i think this was 124,000 mile out of an 03 yukon xl four-wheel drive so it was a rust bucket that's why it uh donated its engine to this cause so uh it did have the three different length head bolts had two short ones on the ends and of course, the little ones up top and the real long ones here and the other positions. Uh, and then I got thinking about it. Well, it is an 03. They changed that around 04. 
and um, did have multi-layer gasket instead of the graphite, so major plus there. A lot less cleanup. So again, let me be quiet and uh, just get back to work, get the other head off. I'm going to replace the lifter trays, even though they look decent as a precautionary method. Um, did get new head gaskets, didn't buy new bolts. Good damn thing, because probably would have got the wrong length. And that's where I'm going to make some people mad on both sides of things. They're going to be angry I'm not copper coating the head gaskets and just slamming them back on. And other people angry and call me a hack because I'm reusing the stock head bolts. This is somebody else's vehicle. He insisted upon the head gaskets. I'm totally okay with that. I asked him about bolts. He said, no, go ahead and reuse them. Some people, you know, they don't go for that. This is only one time reuse. This isn't a boosted engine. Uh, just NA. It will be fine. I promise. But if you're mad, be mad. All right, we're back. Both heads are off. Everything looks good and clean overall. I got a little bit more cleaning to do on the deck surface. But I wanted to get into what's over here, what we're installing. Yeah, quite a bit of parts. Got some new head gaskets, as I mentioned. Some fresh lifter trays. MSD wires that'll go on at the end. These are a nice set of Holly billet fuel rails for that. Got a 102 millimeter throttle body as well, what he wanted. No, I didn't sell him mine. This is another one he bought. These, however, I did sell him in the issue of uh, trying to save time. You've seen these before. They're my PRC heads that I pulled off another vehicle. Um, 58cc chamber, 862 castings, they're stage two and a half, 202 valve, intake valves, I think 157 exhaust. Um, flow over 300 CFM at 600 valve lift. This is a 585 lift cam, so that's be good. Um, you know the gist. They get all the goodies. They're a low mileage set of heads and uh, they're pretty much ready to rock. So, I'm going to get uh, set to clean the deck, get the head gaskets on, new lifter trays in, um, some lubrication and oil on the lifters, and uh, start sticking this thing back together. And, uh, yeah, make some noise. All right, so we're back. We've obviously skipped a few steps. Got the deck surface clean, new head gaskets on. Got the heads cleaned up a little bit and thrown on. Uh, torqued. Rocker arms on. 22 foot-pounds. Rotated 180 degrees. 22 foot-pounds again. That's how I do them. Some people do them a little differently than that. Uh, that's how I do them. We're about to throw the fast intake on. So sit tight for that. All right, so we're still uh, kind of plugging away here. I had to pull these out of the valley and replace them with these Allen head bolts so I'd clear the bottom of the intake. Swing you all in here. Yeah, you can see them right there. Yep. They're on, no turning back now. It's uh, getting late. <clears throat> Been out here all day, had a lot of interruptions. Unfortunately, um, so I'm just going to take this intake, set it on here for tonight. Valve covers on, loose. Uh, I've got to torque these to a certain spec. I have to take the upper shell of the intake off so I can drill this port out and get all the shavings out. Uh, they ship them sealed in case you want to put them different locations. I um, was thinking the top, but I'm likely going to go with the one in the back so I can hide the wiring. That's kind of the theme of everything on this. It's a custom vehicle. So we're trying to hide everything and make it nice, neat, and clean. So I'll just go along with the theme. There we go. It's like, why is it not sitting there? That really fills the gap. Really nice, I think. 
lot better than the factory one and it's going to perform better so i'm liking that i will uh, get the valve covers on probably stick the throttle body on loose with a couple bolts just to keep crap out of there overnight and uh i have to take up tape up the uh, exhaust ports obviously so let me uh go ahead and do all that good stuff and then obviously we'll continue this tomorrow when I go through the motions to get all this wrapped up and done. Yeah, I am really not feeling those valve covers. Um, they used to look decent. They um, detract from the looks of everything now to me. I'm gonna do something with that. I'm either gonna have to, my mind, if it's gonna keep them, I'm thinking black wrinkle paint to match the intake. We'll see what he has to say about that. Um, or something aftermarket that coils sit on, or I may relocate the coils. I don't know. We'll see what he wants to do. Um, but got the throttle body sitting on there just to, like I said, keep crap out of the intake overnight. Looking, uh, looking way different. It's definitely transforming the looks of this. So we'll be back first thing tomorrow morning to uh, continue with the shenanigans. All right, so day two, we're back on this. Left off yesterday evening. This was just setting on here. So clearly, I'm gonna pull that back off. I've got to separate the two halves, um, drill out that back for the map sensor, get that installed, and um, get it back together and on for the final time. And then, uh, I need to uh, start assembling the fuel rails and I've got to figure out how much line I'm going to need. Uh, there's going to be a crossover somewhere here in the front and I want it to be as discreet and hidden as possible. Speaking of crossovers, I need to install the front crossover. It says it may need some uh, bending and um, modification <clears throat> to fit with this intake. It looks like there's some gap under it for it to fit but we'll see I may have to push down on it or gently tap it down with a hammer and a block of wood to get it to fit underneath it we'll see whatever it takes get it figured out and kind of go from there but uh, I'm not going to do too many time lapses or anything like that I, I'm just gonna probably work get some stuff done come back show what's done describe a little bit briefly what it took to get to that point and then leave it there so I don't bore you to tears. All right, on that note, uh, I'm gonna quit talking and uh, grab some tools and get to work on this. So if you ever wondered what these look like when you take them apart, obviously there's the top shell and there's the runners in the lower. Now, why did I take a brand new intake apart? Well, per the instructions, here's where the map sensor is and if you look down in there it is not drilled all the way through so I have to drill that out the one on the top here if you went with this location isn't drilled all the way through obviously so as well only two on this upper that go all the way through are these two ports I've got this one plugged off obviously as an alternative for the brake booster hose but we don't want to see that so I'm going to use the one in the back this will be for the PCV. That one's not drilled through, that one. Likewise, none of these, etc. so on and so forth. But just uh, figured I'd give you all a little uh, look on the inside. And while I have it open, I'm actually gonna check, make sure stuff like this is tight on the runners. They seem to be, but I'm gonna double check them because one of the ones holding that top on in the back, there's five, two in the front and three across the back, was spinning loose. Um, you will need a, I don't know where my, oh, right here. You need a number five metric Allen key for those. And then this screwdriver is the right width to fit inside the bolts to speed it up because you're not really fitting much in here because it's so tight, so. That's my take on that. Just figure that may or may not help somebody in the future. All right, so map sensor installed. Yeah, yeah. 
use my 3 8 drill bit to do that. Uh, Ralph, you're watching. Yes, you're gonna have to drill into that fancy new intake you bought for your truck. So, um, I know, wild concept. I'm gonna put the two halves back together and get that on for the final time. All right, so about to put the intake on for the final time. Everything's back together and tightened down. I'm going to do the water crossover in the front and the two plugs in the back. Um, these were questionable, so I'm going to replace them. There's the uh, Dorman number rear clear, real clear. So it's actually the last set I have them. They're like a four or five dollar. They might be six or seven now. I don't know what tax, but cheap insurance. It's a real pain in the ass to have to pull the intake back off because you get a little coolant leak. So again, I always replace them. Have I gotten away in the past with putting a little RTV around them and sticking them on? Yeah, but uh, being this is all brand new stuff and it's for someone else, I'm going to replace them. So just wanted to note that. And, and uh, again, there's the number from Dorman. You can get them at any auto parts store or Amazon, Rock Auto, etc. All right, intake's on for the final time, obviously. Throttle body time. Got my sensors transferred over from the Gen 3 truck intake. Got my hardware. We're gonna go ahead and stick that on there. And we're gonna be done with that portion of it. Then it's going to be a matter of torquing down the valve covers and installing the coil packs, plug wires, plugs, all that good stuff. All right, it's lunchtime, but throttle body's all on. Uh, starting to mock up of the fuel rails here. Those are rather nice. And um, yeah, I'm not sure I'm gonna have the right brackets. So I'm gonna have to get the injector swapped into those and uh, kind of work from there. See if I can make some of the brackets that were included with these rails work. Stay tuned for that. So this is the current situation. These fuel rails are clearly not for a truck intake like this style. It says uh, LS1, LS2, LS3, LS6, L99 intakes. So I called Holly Tech Support. We're uh, waiting for somebody to answer. Got a pencil and scribble here. Hopefully we can come up with something to either use these or send them back and get the right ones. So, kind of something I need to work out before I even look into finishing the rest of the system. So, <laughs> stay tuned for this. Uh... Well, what's that old saying? One step forward, three steps back. It's kind of where we are today. So, just finished taping some stuff off to keep the trash out of it. Uh, those Holly rails are not going to work. I was on the phone with Holly with a, for a while. They referred me to another kit that's actually made by Fast for these. Then as I'm reading online, I find that people are saying, actually Summit Racing said, nope, doesn't fit, call us. Left the number. I call that number, I get redirected to something completely different. So finally I got somebody through there text tech support and they give me the same number and I'm like well <laughs> right here and on your website says it doesn't work so that person didn't get a name unfortunately but thank you to them whoever they are I guess they spent over an hour minimum maybe even a little longer I wasn't really paying attention to time researching going back and forth and uh, they said they called the manufacturer and that fuel roll kit will work. Um, more than likely, this guy ain't gonna be happy about it. They don't make it in black. Uh, they have a part number, but when you look it up, it says it's unavailable and there's no idea if uh, they're ever gonna have it again. So they only have them in red and eyes. There's clearly nothing red and eyes under the hood here, so. Um, I guess we're just going to have to deal with it. Um, it's probably going to be way more expensive to have them stripped and re and the color. I thought maybe I could 
strip them and polish them and just have polished ones. But again, we don't have anything polished on this. Um, brush finish maybe, but is it really worth the effort at this point? So, at any rate, that's where we're at. Intake looks really good on there. Really fills up the engine bay. This little 5.3 doesn't look so lost in there. Got a killer set of cylinder heads. You're welcome. And, uh, yeah. Get this bad boy on there. So, hopefully uh, we'll get some of this fuel rail debacle figured out. Both of us are really not liking how these valve covers are looking on here now. So, I'm considering doing a black wrinkle finish to kind of get it to be similar color and texture to this on those um maybe we'll order an aftermarket set i don't know but uh once we figure that out coils can go back on hopefully i'll have the headers back from the um ceramic coating guy that he sent them to we can go ahead and go on with that um I'm going to continue with any wiring I can do, plumbing, that type of thing, and kind of keep rolling with it. So until then, that's what's going on with it, and we'll see you next time.